Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 11th React tutorial and in this video I want to talk about Component Lifecycle. Okay then, so in this code you can see already within this component we have two different functions right here. Get initial state and render. Now these are two lifecycle functions, meaning they happen at a particular point in time during the lifecycle of this component. They don't all just fire at once, React doesn't do that. They fire in a particular order. So in this case, this one, get initial state, fires before render. So get initial state fires and it sets up the state of the component, this data right here. Then render fires and it renders this code to the browser using this data. Okay. So there's many more different lifecycle functions as well, which make up the component lifecycle. And we're going to explore a few of them in this tutorial. So first of all, I want to talk about mounting lifecycle functions. And these are just the functions that occur when a component is mounted to the DOM. Okay. So the first one we've already seen is get initial state. And this, I've spelled it wrong by the way there, but it is get initial state. And this sets the initial state of the component. It sets up the data. We've seen that already. So that's the first function to fire. Then we have the component will mount function. Now we've not seen this yet. And any last minute preparations we want to do before the component is mounted to the DOM, we can do here. Okay. So that's called right before the render method. And we've already seen the render method. We've been working with it a lot during this series. This is the only one required lifecycle method in the component. And this returns HTML, which is going to be added to the DOM. It's rendered to the browser. Okay. So that comes next. Then finally, we have component did mount. So after the render function fires and everything is added to the DOM, the component did mount function, if it is within our component, if we define it within our component, that fires. Okay. And according to React, this is a good place to load in any external data from a database or something like that. So they're the mounting lifecycle functions. And we're going to take a look at those in the code in a second. But we also have some updating lifecycle functions, which are quite similar. So first of all, we have the component will receive props method. And this is called before a component receives any new props. OK, so we can use it to compare the current and new props that it's about to receive and change the state if we need to. Then we have should component update. And this again is any kind of last minute preparations or we can also return false if we don't want to update the component and we can tell React, no, we're going to stop there. OK, so that it won't um, fire these remaining functions. However, if we don't return false and we return true, then we're going to fire component will update next. OK, and again, any last minute preps we can do in there before the component is rendered, which is the next lifecycle function for updating. And then finally, we have component did update, which is similar to component did mount. And in here again, we can operate on the DOM or perform any network request that we may need to. OK, so they're the different lifecycle functions. We also have component will mount. So that is kind of like a demounting uh, lifecycle function. And that occurs when a component is unmounted from the DOM. So we're going to take a look at some of these lifecycle functions, not all of them, because it would take forever to look at all of them. But you can read more about them as well on the React official documentation. I'll leave a link to a page with all the descriptions for the different lifecycle functions on them. OK, then, so let's just add in a couple of these different lifecycle functions. So I'm going to come right down here to the bottom and do a little comment that says lifecycle functions. And I'm going to keep this dead simple. So under there, what I want to do, first of all, is say component will mount. So remember, this function gets called just before the component mounts the DOM, OK, before the render method. So in here, all I'm going to do is say console.log. And I'm going to log what this function is called. Component will mount, OK? So now I'm going to paste this, or rather copy it, then paste it down below. And this time I'm going to say component did mount. And change this to did as well. And remember, this is called directly after the render method. So after the render method's been called and the component has been mounted to the DOM, then this one fires. OK, and this is a good place 
for any grabbing of external data okay so then I'm going to do one more I'm going to say component will update and set that equal to a function and I'm going to say in here console.log component will update okay so let's save this now and we'll head over to the browser and just take a quick refresh and this isn't working so let's just quickly see what went wrong okay and it's because we have these little semicolons inside here rookie mistake save that dude now and now let's refresh over here and hopefully we will see the application okay so straight away we can see component will mount and component did mount they both get fired because they are in the mounting lifecycle so this got fired before the render method then this gets fired after the component mounts now let's try doing something we'll take off one of these things and you see this component will update is fired as well so we're updating the data within this component therefore this is firing and if I add a new one uh, make the bed then component will update fires again so that is kind of like a simple explanation of the lifecycle functions and how we can use them within our components.